Hello and welcome to the Daily Roundup. I am Sumedha. And I am Prashant. And here are the major stories for the day. For our first story, we're going to a major news that has broken currently in the day. The CJI, Ranjan Gogoi, who's been accused of sexual harassment, has been given a clean chit by an in-house panel. The in-house committee is led by Justice S.A. Bobre. On, uh, on Monday, they've given a clean chit uh, to Ranjan Gogoi in the sexual harassment case against him. The committee also comprises of Justice Indu Malhotra and Indira Banerjee, and it said that it found no substance in the sexual harassment allegations against CJI Ranjan Gogoi. The Chief Justice appeared before the panel on May 1st. The woman withdrew from the proceedings of the subcommittee on April 30th. In a statement to the media, she expressed serious reservations against the panel and saying that it was an, an in-house committee of sitting judges, junior to the CJI, and not an external committee as she had requested for. The woman also said that she felt quite intimidated and nervous in the presence of the three judges of the Supreme Court. There have been signs of a clear dissent as well in the Supreme Court regarding the procedures of the in-house panel. Uh, Justice Chandrachud had also said that the committee should not proceed the inquiry without the complainant wanting to be a part of uh, the panel as well. The complainant had withdrawn on the 30th of April and we'd be covering the story more extensively and in detail tomorrow as well, so stay tuned for that story. In our other big story of the day, we're covering the fifth phase of the election, the Lok Sabha election of 2019. The phase five polling is today. Seven states are conducting polls across 51 constituencies. And the states that are going to polls today are Uttar Pradesh with about 14 constituencies, Rajasthan with 12, Madhya Pradesh with seven, West Bengal as well with seven, Bihar with five, Jharkhand with four, and Jammu and Kashmir with two constituencies. There are two more phases left before the general elections are concluded on May 19th. The key candidates in the fray for the election in the fifth phase are Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, Smriti Irani, Rajnath Singh, and Raj, Rai Vardhan Rajo, uh, Rajay Vardhan Rathor as well. So these are some of the key candidates in the fifth phase of the election. If we were to analyze the previous equations and the 2014 results for these 51 seats, we see that the BJP had backed about 40 seats along with its allies. The Indian National Congress had performed badly with two seats and the others managed to get nine. In the uh, polling today, we've been seeing that there have been sp sporadic incidents of violence which are reported during the polling uh, on the seven seats in West Bengal. A grenade attack had also taken place in a polling booth in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama district and violence has been reported in West Bengal and snags in the EVM machines have also been re uh, uh, reported in the initial hours of the polling today. In our second story, we're also focusing on the aftermath of the cyclone Fanny. Today, in a major development, thousand rupees, thousand crores, one thousand crores of assistance has been given to Orissa, which was ravished by the cyclone. The Union government had previously sanctioned rupees. 381 crores and at least 34 people including 21 people from Puri have lost their lives due to the cyclone. The storm had made the landfall on May 3rd and it had flattened fragile houses, uprooted scores of trees, electric poles and mobile towers as well. The government had mounted a massive restoration work across 10,000 villages and 52 urban areas which have been ravaged by the storm affecting nearly one crore people and it has shown drastic effects on the health, communications, and essential services. Cabinet Secretary Sri P.K. Sena, in a press conference yesterday, had informed that power and telecommunication facilities are gradually being restored in the cyclone-affected areas of the state. Major damages to the power transmission and distribution systems are reported in Bhuvaneshwar as well as in Puri. Mobile services have been restored partially. In both the cities, about 70% of water supply will also be restored by today evening. Odisha also has requested for a supply of storage water tanks. 60% of the affected telecom towers are also expected to be operational by the evening and diesel supplies are being provided to make functional uh, to be made functional using DG sets in the absence of regular power supply as well. Sufficient stocks of diesel and other fuels are now being made available in Odisha. 
railways have been reintroduced and 85% 85 of the 135 cancelled trains are also uh, being uh, trying to be linked the main line to bhuvneshwar has also commenced operations while puri will be ready to receive trains in about 4 to 5 days flight operations to bhuvneshwar have also resumed with 41 flights operating from yesterday even though the local airport has suffer, suffered extensive damage, the NDRF has cleared fallen trees from most of the roads in Puri, Kurda and Bhuvaneshwar and normal traffic is now being resumed. The Defence Ministry, through a special transport planes and helicopters, has moved medicines and other relief material as well. Naval and Coastal Guard vessels near the Orisha coast have enough water supplies to be supplied to the affected areas. In our other big story, we are focusing on the credibility of the Election Commission of India. So we had an exclusive interview with Paranjoy Guha Thakurta, who spoke to the former legal advisor of the Election Commission, Surendra Kumar uh, Mehendirata had spoken to us. And he spoke about the fact that how the, if the Election Commission would have acted faster in the complaints that were lodged against the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Amit Shah, it would have significantly improved the credibility of the election commission take a look at this exclusive interview with news click ye sare jo tippani jo shikayat aaye hain jo modi ji ke khilaf amit shah ke khilaf ye hamare nirvachan aayog dheere dheere hafto lagaya mahino lagaya iske upar unna raay dene ke liye agar rahul gandhi ka khilaf kuch shikayat aaya to turant election commission is activated yani ki ek राय है लोगों का कि इलेक्शन कमीशन हैज बीन सॉफ्ट जिस रफ्तार से सारे शिकायत के ऊपर उनका कार्रवाई करना चाहिए था और सख्त कार्रवाई करना चाहिए था उन्होंने नहीं किया इसके बारे में आप कहिए नहीं सख्त कार्रवाई तो वो जो भी ठीक समझे वो करेंगे लेकिन उन्होंने अब मुझे नहीं पता कि क्या इन्फॉर्मेशन उन्होंने गैदर करनी थी कहाँ से क्या इन्फॉर्मेशन ली लेकिन जहाँ तक मैं समझता हूँ इसमें कुछ थोड़ा सा तो जल्दी एक्शन लेना चाहिए था इन और इंटरनेशनल सेक्शन वी गो टू पैलेस्टाइन वे नियरली ट्वेंटी फाइव पीपल वर किल्ड एंड हंड्रेड्स इंजर्ड इन द लेटेस्ट राउंड ऑफ इजरायली अटैक्स इन गाजा द अटैक्स बिगेन ऑन फ्राइडे एंड इन रेस्पॉन्स पैलेस्टीन एंड रेजिस्टेंस फोर्सेज फायर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ रॉकेट्स इन टूस मीडिया रिपोर्ट से देर सीज फायर इज नाउ टेक होल्ड विच इज नेगोशिएटेड बाई इंच The ceasefire took hold after Israel agreed to ease the blockade on Gaza. The latest round of violence began on Friday when Israeli snipers killed two persons at the Great March of Return protests on the Gaza-Israel border. Simultaneously, Israel also launched an airstrike on a Hamas facility which killed two more people. When the Palestinian resistance forces responded, Israel intensified its attacks massively. According to reports, at least 200 sites in Gaza were hit. Among those killed, were two pregnant women a 12 year old boy and an infant Benjamin Netanyahu the Israeli prime minister in fact called for a further intensification of violence on Sunday Gaza has been under a massive siege since 2007 by Israel aided by Egypt the siege has led to a crumbling of infrastructure including hospitals sewer networks and other critical facilities in our second story for the day we to, we look we look at the us deployment of naval forces near iran to talk more about this we have with us abdul mm -hmm. hi abdul thank you for joining us abdul so we have seen that john bolton announced that the us naval force is moving towards iran and now this is part of a larger move there have been sanctions last year for instance so are we looking at a position where there might be a war or uh, what do you think well prashant i think in the given circumstances there is no uh, real possibility of a real war but there are other uh, reasons for this deployment the primary reason is the the us allies in the region israel saudi arabia they are worried about the physical attacks by not by iran directly but the iranian what they call the iranian supported uh, movements in the region the quote unquote evil uh, movements in the region like hamas or hezbollah or houthis in yemen so they might attack and therefore the the kind of this deployment is a kind of assurance that in case of such uh, attacks there will be a retaliation yes. so it is a kind of a guarantee uh, <clears throat> there are other there there, is, there are other main major reasons behind it the we all know that the oil supplies are very crucial to the world economy and there are many uh, crucial 
points in the world, yeah, which basically assures the guarantees the uh, the security of those crucial points, right. guarantees the oil supplies to the right. world market. Strait of Hormuz is one most important uh, that uh, point, right. which basically is the route through which almost 20% of the global supplies uh, move. And therefore, the guarant security of that uh, uh, strait is very uh, important. It, Iran has threatened um, uh, previously that in case of their oil is not allowed to move out, they might uh, attempt to block the Strait of Hormuz. So this movement is also an attempt to, to basically to control uh, any such eventuality that Iran basically counter the such event eventuality right. primarily. So this is just a part of the U.S.'s posturing and threats as far as, as uh, if now at least. As if now that is what it is. Yeah. Thanks, Abdul. Thanks. That's all we have time for today. For more details on this story, check our website newsclick.in and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.